Hey guys, this is me, Gary Lee Stanley, your sales guy. Hey guys, today we're going to have an interview with a uh, uh, Mr. Single Dad. How are you doing today, Mr. Single Dad? I don't know, man. I'll tell you what, some days are good and some days are better, and I'm going to tell you what, it's rough out here. Uh, see that kid back there? That's mine. I've had him by myself now since he was a month old, and I'm going to tell you what, they didn't give me a manual when I first got him. It was like, what the hey? <laughs> well, so, sir, let me ask you a question. When he was a little boy, did you enjoy taking care of him? Oh, yeah, I loved taking care of him. He was a good boy. I'll tell you what, the only bad thing that I had to deal with was that shit. Oh, my gosh, it smelled awful. I'm going to tell you what, kids, for some reason, they smell awful. I don't care how clean you get them. They smell like shit. And I'm telling you what, it was so funny. It was like green and purple and yellow and I'm always taking it to the doctors thinking there's something wrong with him and there wasn't nothing wrong with him. They just said, well, that's the way it is. Well, sir, that sounds a little strange. Are you telling me that, uh, you know, kids can be kind of weird and kind of uh, nasty all at the same time? I'm telling you, they really are. I love my son. I'll tell you what, he was the best thing since sliced cheese. And he did real good in school. You know, he had one of them things called ADHD. You know what that is? Uh, no, sir. What is ADHD? That means that motherfucker was hyper as hell. He was always getting in trouble. I didn't mean trouble where he was hurting anybody, but he couldn't stay still in his seat. And I'm going to tell you what, ADHD, holy cow. I mean, man, they call me all the time from the school. Can you take care of your kid? Can you calm his ass down? I'm like, you calm down. I can't even calm myself down. Uh, sir, did you have ADHD? Well, they didn't call it back there. They didn't call us that back when I was a kid. They just said we was bad kids. And my kid ain't bad. He's a good kid. He was a smart kid. Actually, he was a genius. He's an above average kid. And, you know, one of the things uh, that I had to deal with was I had to deal with a kid who was a special needs kid. I mean, he was special, baby. He was smart. He was He was smarter than the average kid. Well, did you enjoy taking care of him? Oh, yeah, I really did. I always made sure my son had all the things that he needed. Well, did he treat you right? Hell no. Kids don't treat you right. You give them everything they want. They disrespect for you, especially teenagers. Holy cow, I don't understand teenagers. They drive me nuts. It's like, God dang, I just bought you something nice and you're giving me a bad attitude. Oh my goodness, are you saying that kids and teenagers give you a bad attitude? Oh yeah, man, my son, he's the best kid in the world, but for some reason when he hit that teenage age, it was like uh, the yes sir and the no sir went right out the door. It's more like, huh, what? Uh, uh, I'm like, what language is that? I don't speak that language. Well, sir, do you feel like, you know, he's growing up? Oh, yeah, he's growing up. And I used to have hair when I first had him, and now I'm losing all my hair. And I'll tell you what, and I've lost all my money. <laughs> Well, sir, you said you raised him by yourself all these years. Yes, I did. And I'm going to tell you what. He's cheaper to have a son than it is to have a girlfriend or a wife. It costs a lot of money to take care of them. And kids, believe it or not, they ain't no magnet. Women ain't jumping on and say, hey, I'd like to date you because you got a kid. Well, sir, that must be kind of sad in this regard. Yeah, I've got friends of mine. You know, men are kind of different. We don't care as long as you got, if you're a woman, we, we don't care if you got kids. But women... They don't really care. They don't care to take care of another woman's child. Now, I know that sounds kind of racist, but it's the truth. I've had issues like that. But, see, let me ask you a question, sir. So, have you enjoyed being with your son? Oh, yeah, man. I'm telling you what. My son is a, like, he's just a great athlete. I mean, he's more like what you would call, I wouldn't say an athlete, but I'd say a musician. That kid, I'll tell you, when I was a little boy, he was a little boy, I used to put down a little guitar he'd bang on it, paint on it, color on it. And I was like, what's wrong with this kid? <laughs> he, he did everything to that daggone guitar. But I noticed he was always rumming the strum and the strings. Now that kid knows how to play almost every instrument, anything you put in front of him. It's like, holy cow, I'm so glad that I gave my son a guitar. Now I make sure he has all the equipment that he needs. Well, you sound like a pretty good dad. Well, you know, I have my good days and my bad days. Most of the time I'm screaming, get up! Take a shower, brush your teeth, go to bed. 
Are you doing your homework? What are you doing? Damn it. <laughs> I'm sorry to tell you, that's the way it is when you're a single dad if you don't know what you're doing. Because remember, they didn't give me a manual. They never gave me a manual. They never gave me a damn manual. And I've had a manual with everything that I've ever had. And I bought my son. Yeah. You say, what do you mean, sir? You say you bought your son? Hey, yeah. He cost me an arm and a leg. And it's a fortune. It means I paid a lot of money for him. Uh, well, have you ever had a wife or uh, have you had a girlfriend to help you or no I never did I always put my son first I saw a lot of relationships where people you know they jump for relationship and the kids would get all freaked out and stuff and that's my mom and that's my daddy and I didn't want my son to ever have any kind of feelings like that and I love him very much well <laughs> that sounds wonderful now it looks like he's an older kid now he's gonna be going to college soon oh yeah I just took him over to a college we just walked around Around, and we're getting ready to go see some other ones because he's going to be put, be a man and he'll be on his own soon. And, you know, I just really have enjoyed the ride. Well, sir, it sounds like you're doing a really good job being a good father. You must really love your kid. I really, really do. And I'm going to hate it when he leaves. Now, he can stay as long as he's going to school, working the job, and he can stay at home and take care of his, his life to get himself straight. But he's got to go to school, get an education, or get a job, and try to be the best he could be well you sound like you're doing a great job sir so do you have any any things left that you'd like to share with people love your kids give them a big old bear hug every day tell them they're important and they matter tell them they're special show them kiss them give them a hug and even if they treat you like shit you gotta love them well guys you got your great information on what it's like to be a single parent and i will tell you what guys it sounds kind of rough but you know what it sounds like this guy really enjoys it i really really do i love my son i love you son i love you Oh, 